just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. To end the ten year long Trojan War, a group of Greek soldiers hide inside a large wooden horse, allowing them to sneak through the gates, kill Achilles, and burn the city to the ground. The leader of this group was a man named Odysseus of Ithaca. And when they had completed their mission, he and the soldiers that stayed behind to help sack Troy sailed home to Greece, to the west, in twelve ships. It was supposed to be a fairly short trip home, however, it seems the elements and the gods were not in favour of their return. As they left Troy, the winds blew them off course to the city of Ismara, whom no, they raided, hi guys. killing all the locals oh, you and taking food? everything oh, God, they could lift, from supplies to valuables. They set sail again when the winds changed, but just as they rounded Cape Malia, they are blown oh, off course again and wind up in the land of the Lotus Eaters. Odysseus sends some of his men to find out more hey about guys, the people of the island, Man. but when they were offered the Lotus Fruit by the locals, they lost I all interest in returning time. home. And Odysseus had to drag them back to the ship. Come along now, man. Oh, but I don't want to go. They set off again and eventually find that themselves in the land of the, of the giants, Cyclops, where they meet Polyphemus, one of the Cyclops and son of Poseidon, the god of the sea. Polyphemus eats two of his men and traps the rest in a cave by placing a large boulder in front of the doorway. Oh, man. Odysseus comes up with a plan and uses some like wine from the ship to trick Polyphemus no, into falling asleep and tells him that his name is Nobody. Oh, hi, Nobody. When the Cyclops passes out, he and his men uh, blind yeah. him oh, no. with a spear fashioned yeah. from Polyphemus' club. When the other Cyclops come to his aid and shout through the door to see if he's alright, right. Polyphemus responds, Nobody is killing me. The others assume he is just sick. Get well soon. The next morning, when Polyphemus, Grr. now blind, goes to let his sheep out to pasture, Meh. Odysseus and his Meh. men tie themselves Meh. to the underside Meh. of the sheep to escape. Meh. He shouts back as they sail off, if they ask who blinded you, tell them it was Odysseus. Take that. Polyphemus is enraged and prays to his father Take to curse that. him. Ah. After the potentially journey-ending meeting with Aeolus, the god of winds, who gives him a leather sack containing oh, all the winds except the west wind, and the devastating backtracking when some of his men the, oh, opened god the bag, damn it. and a run-in with the giants of Laestrigonus, oh, when all but oh, one god. of the ships are destroyed, Odysseus and his men wind up on the island of the witch Circe, who turns most of his men into pigs. As Odysseus goes to confront her, he meets Hermes, Hermes? the messenger god, who gives him a potion yeah, called Molly to resist her magic. Mm -hmm. When Circe realises she cannot kill him or turn him like the others, she tries to take him to bed, to bed but him. Odysseus makes her swear an oath to never swear harm to him it. and to okay. reform his men, which she does. Uh, Odysseus uh, and his men spend the next year uh, feasting uh, and drinking in her palace, oh generally wasting time until they decide it is time to return home. Go. With Circe's guidance, they head east, to the edge of the world, where they gain access to the underworld. There Odysseus speaks with one of his old crewmen, the prophet Teresia, prophet. and Achilles, yeah, who whatever. fought at Troy. He tells Achilles that he was revered as a god by the Greeks, and that he sees he still holds that power in the underworld. Achilles replies that it is better to live as a poor man than to rule over all the dead. Sucks down here, man. They leave the underworld and encounter the Sirens, a group of enchantresses who lure ships to their doom with song. The men all stuff their ears with beeswax, but Odysseus wants to hear the song, and so ties himself What's to the mast. Like? that good? Finally, they come to a narrow pass, the home of Scarlet, oh, a six-headed okay, monster. Six monster, and Charybdis, who draws water into its mouth, creating a whirlpool. The ship is sucked down, with only Odysseus surviving by grabbing an olive branch that hung over the oh, whirlpool. What a stroke of luck. The mate was a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. 